In this movie, let's continue talking about that Joomla lingo, the very key terms that you need to be aware of to work with the program. One of the elements in Joomla is a WYSIWYG editor. It's called TinyMCE. Let me show you an example. I need to log in first. And basically what I'm going to get then is a WYSIWYG, which means I'm going to have like toolbar buttons. I'm going to be able to see what my editing looks like. Sometimes people have plain text editors, which means you can't see the coloring and the changes and the fancy stuff on there, whereas this one is a WYSIWYG and it's called Tiny MCE. So if for some reason somebody's not seeing that, you may need to go turn that on for them so they can see that element. Let's go back to our back end. I want to show you in one of these managers some of the elements and some of the title items you need to know about. When you get into a manager, you're going to have a toolbar up here. The toolbars vary depending on the manager that you're in. You're going to have a filter bar. You can type in what you want to filter it by or you can go over here and go down these items as far as you need to to also filter those items out. You can sort by simply putting your cursor on top of the title that you want to sort by. Everything is divided into columns and is specifically titled at the top so you know what element that that is. At the very bottom of your managers, you're going to have some navigational elements. You can go to pages and next and end, etc. You can tell what page you're on. It'll also give you some little tool tips, I call them, to show you what these little icons mean. Some other items you need to know about, you need to know what FTP is. FTP is File Transfer Protocol, taking your files from one computer and putting them on the next. FTP, I use this Core FTP Lite to upload a lot of files. There's lots of them out there, lots of them free, so just find one that works well for you. On our website, we also need to remember that everything is organized into a MySQL database you need to know what a database is. A database is just an organized collection of records. Basically that database we can sort it, filter it, we can add to it, we can delete it. So we can add articles, we can delete articles, we can filter those articles. And finally, you need to know the difference between published and unpublished. A published article is obviously on the site. An unpublished article is in the database but people cannot see it on the website. Okay, so take a minute, zip around the administrative side in Joomla and the front page and make sure you can identify the key elements and understand the key items as you see them when you look around.